Welcome back to The Breakfast. It's time for our first hot topic. And we want to take a look at the crisis rocking the Labour Party. Even as the Cardinal State chapter of that party suspends three of its chieftains and has distanced itself from the Lamidi a Papa faction. We have our guest, Mr. Law Mefo, who is a political analyst. Good morning to you, Mr. Mefo. Good morning. All right. Well, the party... Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Good morning. Thank you for seeing me. Welcome. All right. So the Labour Party is divided along two lines with the main party uh, trying to clean the stable of that party by suspending those found uh, wanting. But before we go into this discussion, we have a report on this very development to play. Thereby affirm and assert our loyalty, support, and commitment to the Labour Party and the National Working Committee of our great party, led by our led by our lawfully recognized national chairman, Barrister Julius Aburi. All appointments and decisions made by the Apapa Group on behalf of our great party remain null and all identified card carrying members of the Labour Party, who were part of the so-called neck meeting that took place in Bauchi, in Bauchi State, Wednesday, 3rd May, 2022, hereby, hereby stands suspended from the party. The ruling party are sponsoring some of our people so that they will take charge of the Labour Party in order to ease way for them to go and say, okay, we have drawn, we have drawn our tribunal, our case in the tribunal, so that they have it, it, they have easy right. We remain resolute. We remain one to create division in the party, so that they can scuttle this reclaiming of our collective mandate. That is what is playing out, and that group that continues to parade themselves as a faction of the party, parading one Lamidi Apapa as a factional chairman of the party, they are not. The intent is to tear the party. They have not hidden it. They have been saying it. I am not the one saying it. Accusing Mr. Peter Obi and the Tibaba Ahmed as having been working for the PDP. And so their mission is to deal with them. Dealing with them means when they take over the party, they will withdraw the case and expel them from the party. End of this. Oh, well. Mr. Law, before you, you, before you saw that, you, you heard that report, right? I had it, and um, I have been following the development in uh, the Labour Party for quite some time now, and um, very disturbing, mm. very unfortunate. The Labour Party, rather than manage uh, its uh, unexpected um, uh, victory um, at various levels, is uh, trying to factionalize and then um, bring it to a public opprobrium. Um, they, they, you know, what has always happened to political parties in Nigeria, you know, we expect that part that labor will be different and um, stay away from uh, establishment efforts, but this is not what is playing out. But I want us to also see it as an external aggression, um, the in external forces beyond the party itself. Uh, uh, trying to infiltrate the party. I listened to uh, some of the comments made, and then um, one of uh, the commentators um, was specific about the goal, the primary strategic objective of this um, uh, incursion into the labor. Um, yes, um, two factions exist, uh, and needlessly also, because if you if you look at it, uh, Lamidi Apapa was the deputy national chairman of Labour for South. 
and uh, where the uh, national chairman evacuates, uh, you know, normally the the deputy national chairman from that uh, part of the country uh, assumes uh, the office in acting capacity until convention. This is what is playing out. But the question is, uh, why why is the uh, Papa doing this? You know, to his own party. When they are in the tribunal with very strong chances of um, even making a case and uh, possibly clinching uh, the presidency. Or at least consolidating on the, on the fortunes of, uh, of labor. Um, for me, I see, like I said before, I see external aggression. It's a, it's a, there is a, there's a hijack, you know, going on, a hijack. Um, the, the court has waded in. There are two uh, court uh, orders, you know, and um, I think uh, the final resolution ought to come at the uh, appeal. Since um, um, one court order is in favor of uh, Julius, the incumbent national chairman. Another court order uh, seems to favor uh, Lamidi Apapa faction. Seems uh, the, 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 the two orders are coming from a, a court of uh, a coordinated jurisdiction, the high court, you know, in this case. The, the only way to resolve it is to head to appeal. And uh, I'm aware that uh, both the factions have headed on appeal. And I think they need to. Um, they need to really shift their thoughts and allow um, the appellate court to determine uh, which uh, faction uh, is valid and should uh, be considered the authentic national chairman or authentic national executive of uh, the party, whether it's substantive or acting in capacity. Uh, you know, this is said, I want to advise that, look, you see, what is before labor at the moment is... Um, the uh, legal uh, fireworks at uh, the tribunal, and um, they need to all uh, face it. You see, if um, a faction makes an attempt to uh, withdraw the uh, case uh, before the presidential election tribunal, uh, uh, well, it, it, it will not stand because um, OB is a, uh, the number one uh, petitioner, uh, they followed by Labour. Uh, so if Labour withdraws and the OB um, uh, it does not uh, withdraw, the, the case will go on. But it will it will cause some uh, credibility issue because it has divided against itself at least. And if you recall, when uh, um, Chief uh, Edwin Ubezo, okay, former former um, Speaker of uh, House of Representatives, was the chairman of um, uh, all uh, people's um, all People's Party, APP, um, presidential election held with uh, Buhari as uh, the presidential flag bearer of the party. The party withdrew from the case, but Buhari continued. So I, I, I just made the reference to that for us to know that uh, the withdrawal of labor, you know, from the case will not uh, stop uh, OB unless OB himself decides to withdraw. But it will cause credibility issue because. Um, Presidential election petitions are, you know, either are, are both uh, legal and political. What this means is that uh, the political angle of the case will become a bit weaker, you know, but not uh, completely validated. Uh, because uh, at the end of the day, we expect that it is the facts that will speak for uh, the petitioners. And um, if the facts speak uh, for the petitioners, particularly for labor, and Labour is able to factually prove that um, it, it won that election. You know, um, the, the justices will have no choice because their hands must have been tied. You know, so it, this is my overall impression about this. I, I think uh, it's not good. And um, Labour labor is not uh, doing itself any good at all. And um, going forward also, for obi uh, and the obedience, they need to learn from what is going on, and then they have to really um, they reinvent themselves and begin to think critically uh, about um, even exiting the level completely and, um, and form a brand new political party. You know that, that may be the way to go. If, it, if, if this issue is not resolved, it may be the ultimate solution for Obi and Obi.
Obedience are not a political party. Obedience are people who, who follow an ideology. That's why, that's, why they say that. yeah. that's why I said they need to consider seriously going moving forward. Moving well, forward. This, this, is my, this, this is the point I want to make. This is the point I yeah. want to make. If they are not a political party and they follow an ideology, it doesn't matter the name that it, it assumes. Whether it's still Labour Party or, or B, who they are following moves to another party, they will still move to the, that party. So uh, now, if you say that they have to reinvent themselves and move to another party, it, it, a lot of them are not even Labour Party members. So when, what, what, what other solution can we have to solve this problem, especially within the Labour Party? Because Labour Party is not Labour Party. Labour Party is a third force that if there are fifth columnists, the people who are the external forces, like you said, are trying to disrupt the process within that party. So wherever they move to, these external forces will still follow them there. So can we find a permanent solution that doesn't have to depend on a name? Yeah, well, you see, um, if uh, um, you understand the, the role of political parties in a presidential democracy, you will see that there is no alternative to it. Because in our constitution, there is no provision for independent uh, candidates. What that means is that you must come by way of political party. If that is the only pathway, you know, available to the obedience, they cannot contest election in Nigeria as uh, obedience. That's the, that, that is the, that is one, uh, one, one issue um, uh, that must be resolved quickly. If they don't resolve it, they will have a problem. You know, the problem, why they are not firm on ground in labor is because they joined labor. Okay, technical glitches there. I hope we're able to uh, reconnect with Mr. Mefor. Law Mefo. Hello, Mr. Law Mefo. Have you been able to reconnect with us? All right, well, until we get him back, we just have to banter, don't we? Yeah, we, I was wondering, I, I needed him to talk about it, is because obedience cut across party lines. There are APC members who are obedient. There are APGA people who are obedient. There are uh, uh, AA people all across board. There are people who identify with the ideology mm -hmm. and the man who they have chosen to bear the flag for them, for the kind of life they want their leader to be. So wherever they go to, if they are a threat, no matter what name they assume, there will still be a threat to the people who don't want them to exist. So they will still, if they are the ones paying others to disrupt the party, they will still be paying them no matter what umbrella they go under. So I'm wondering if there could be a permanent solution. And that's what I, I really wanted him to talk about. And he was trying to give that yes. answer. But one of the things that I know is that all the parties have their problems. Yes. All of them, APC, PDP, uh, and then, of course, Labour Party. But Labour's, uh, Labour's party, Labour, Labour Party's uh, crisis right now is as critical as it is because mm -hmm. of uh, the fact that they're in court. Mm -hmm. because they are the third force that has shaken the political narrative of mm -hmm. late and the fact that it's 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 the the, the leadership the, the the national chairman uh, has been involved in this imbroglio that has led to a court uh, mm -hmm. ruling that's told him to stop parading himself as a chairman of the party but what are the implications of that can't the party move forward from there well, like, like Mr. Mefo said, um, whether the party dies or not, whether it splits or not, there was an, there was an avenue through which Peter B emerged, emerged uh, contested. So mm -hmm. they cannot say he came as an independent candidate. So there was a party, whether it dies today or not. And then he is going there as a person, and he, he, the petition is in, in his name. Uh, Labour Party also gave their petition, but mm -hmm. whether the Labour Party withdraws, Obi can still continue with it. That's one good thing about it. Obi can still continue with his, mm. his own petition. It doesn't have to be that whether uh, Labour withdrew and Obi lost. So whoever is paying these people maybe is not even also thinking about the fact that Obi, though contested under a party, is still somewhat independent when it comes to the case that is in court. What it's interesting, is isn't this? it, that uh, Lamidia Papa is 
uh, being, well, it's, I don't want to say some things because we have no evidence to it, but the, the role he's playing in all of these imbroglio of working the party is quite um, surprising because I, I do understand that the Labour Party Southwest had collapsed its entire structure, you know, and it, that's few days to the presidential election. Well, they debunked that. They, the governorship candidate came on air, I think, on, in our studio and debunked it that uh, some people were probably those people who are now blossoming mm. and uh, doing what they're doing now are the ones that are parading themselves or saying that the Labour Party has uh, collapsed their structure. In, in that same breath, where we heard that Labour Party collapsed their structure, we also heard that in some places, in some local governments, APC and the PDP collapsed their structure exactly. into Labour. So everybody was collapsing and collapsing in another person's mind. Political calculations, so, so horse trading, uh, you know, people have price price tags. It's unfortunate, but especially in politics, yeah. there are no permanent enemies or friends. It's, it's interest that matters to a lot of politicians. Uh, and it's unfortunate that in our crime, we do not have, as we have really established over time in the course of our discussions, political discussions, there are no ideologies. People just move mm -hmm. from one party to another party as easily as you can spread butter on your bread and it's not good for the polity it's not good for position it's not good for but i've been told that we have mr lomba for back online mefo, mefo, mefo. hello mr mefo <laughs> yeah sorry from the glitch okay okay uh, there, there was a glitch i'm sorry about that uh, it's uh, one of uh, our main challenges in nigeria at the moment the talent uh, penetrability is still very low what's a welcome you know, back um, there was a very beautiful uh, uh, question um, my brother there asked, um, what is the way moving forward? And I was stressing the fact that, look, uh, our uh, country, the uh, extant uh, laws of uh, 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 operating at the moment, uh, uh, you know, do not permit independent uh, candidates. Yeah. What that means is that you participate through a political party. Obedience, like we recognized, they are not a unity political party. And I am saying the problem they have in Labour is because they joined, they, they adopted Labour as a platform. You know, and they, they, they are not Labour Party members in the main. Many of them who joined Labour is just out of um, necessity and they are ready to move if uh, it becomes really necessary. Now, you see, uh, because it was an, an emergency arrangement and they, they used the platform for this, for this presidential election, they need to uh, you know, manage the process carefully for the outcome because if uh, they allow it to affect uh, their chances at the tribunal and uh, ultimately at the Supreme Court, they only have themselves to blame. You see, the establishment forces has moved against them. It, it, it should be expected. They should know that. Power is a, not a sad a la carte. You have to take it. That's the truth of our uh, political process. Uh, it, it then means that uh, they have to be more strategic, more tactical in their approach. They are not to blame for what has happened. It is the establishment forces that are infiltrating and trying to hijack they are, they, they, the platform they used, using some internal collaborators to achieve it. And their ultimate aim, like uh, rightly identified by one of uh, the commentators, is to see if they can hold or harm enjoy the, 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 the petition they have at the tribunal. And um, since this is the most likely uh, you know, aim of the faction, um, they have one one protection going for them. I mentioned that before, that uh, OB is uh, the number one petitioner and Labour Party is number two on the Labour, on the Labour pe a presidential petition. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the Labour Party withdraws, in the unlikely event that they succeed in withdrawing, it, it, it cannot stand unless OB himself also withdraws from the race which is from a day from a you know which is not likely to happen you know so that for me is rested on one part but you remember 
that uh, I also said that presidential election petition um, it is both a uh, political and legal. You know, the political arm, uh, angle of it can, can be affected, slightly at least, because you know, the optics, the public perception, we create the impression that labor itself is not, uh, is not serious. And um, the bodies themselves are also human beings. But if they are presenting a united, solid front, very solid front, you know, because a house divided against itself cannot stand. If they remain united, the, 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 the possibility of getting something out of the tribunal is there. You know. So, um, then would, you say, would you say that these suspensions that we're hearing from the different chapters uh, is, is a strong enough indication that they are cleaning up and that they're getting stronger? Well, it, it's a, the, the suspension and counter suspension, you know, uh, uh, these are the uh, you know, great, uh, great parts you find in, uh, in the developing the political process. We uh, do not need to worry much about that until the court, you know, says so. Um, anybody can say anything. You are suspended and I suspend you. Like I told you, there are two factions because the court, the, the two uh, uh, the courts of uh, coordinated jurisdiction uh, have been um, validated in the two, so to say. You know, what that means is that uh, Lamiti Apapa faction has a uh, so the recognition under the law, Julius faction has recognition under the law. To set aside any of them, you have to go to the appellate court. And the two factions are heading that way. But in the interim, the presidential petition is ongoing. So, you know, until the uh, appeal court and ultimately the Supreme Court uh, speak on uh, which faction is valid. There is no, nothing anybody can say uh, for now that will really determine that will be so uh, 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 um, definitive. You know, okay. it, it will not. It, it will not. It's just an opinion. That's All the right. point I'm trying to make. All right. And then when I talk, just right. one minute. Uh, I yes, let's wrap up. About, yes. Yeah. Okay. It, uh, uh, my, I believe that uh, that uh, if uh, the obedience are not able to take over labor as a platform, they must consider seriously about uh, the trans, you know, transiting into a, a political party. They have the number, they have the spread, you know, so they will certainly be registered as a political party. I will not advise that they move another party. I advise they constitute themselves into a political party. Okay. That's, that's my candidate advice. All yeah, right. Thank, uh, you. thank you very much, Mr. Lome, for, uh, for coming on the program. It's always a delight to have you join us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for hosting me. Yeah. Thank you. We've been talking with Mr. Lohme for a political analyst and we're, we're looking at what is happening in the Labour Party. We do hope that the uh, problems within the Labour Party will be resolved soon and we're looking forward to a very, very bright Nigeria. We don't want to lose any of the political parties that has made impact in these uh, uh, elections and uh, the political sphere. We'll take a short break now. When we return, we'll be talking tech with our guests. Stay with us. <laughs>